very good evening to you all, and you're all very welcome here to a sun-drenched McDonough Park, Nina, for this, the 2005 North Tipperary Senior Hurling Championship final between Bursley and Aero Nina. Bursley, both sides have come on the field, and Bursley will be hoping to go one better than last year when they were beaten in the final here by one point by Ross Gray. Aero Nina, on the other hand, have won this competition in 2001, but we have to go back to 1988 for Bursley to record their last victory. Both sides now, uh, as I say, on the field, and uh, shortly we will give you the line outs, and then the teams will be parading behind the band, and after that, it'll be all systems go for this keenly awaited contest. And the Aero team now having their photographs taken, and their lineup will be in goal Michael McNamara, right cornerback John Brennan, fullback John Slattery, who captains the side, and left cornerback Anthony Quinn. Right wing back Hugh Flannery, centre back Richard Flannery, and left wing back Huey Maloney. In the centre of the field will be John Flannery, and partnering him will be Eddie Tucker. Right wing forward John Kennedy, centre forward Kevin Tucker, and left wing forward Declan O'Mara. The right corner forward that will be brought by Paul Ryan, full forward Noel Maloney, and left corner forward Michael Hackett. Now we have, uh, as both sides have just completed the parade, we have the Bursley team, which shows the number of changes due to injuries. In goal, Jody Harkin, number one, right cornerback, Martin Tracy, number two, Philip Rabi, number three, captain in the side, and left cornerback, Owen Stapleton. Number five, David O'Connor, number six, Patrick Stapleton, and number seven, Vincent Stapleton. The centre of the field will be Seamus Maher wearing number 10 and John Keane wearing number nine. Right wing forward will be Declan Maher wearing number 13, Aidan Cohn wearing number 11, and Angela Welsh. Now, the right corner forward position will be uh, Brendan Maher wearing number 25, Rory Canan wearing number 14. Yeah. <laughs> Our referee for today's encounter will be Sean Bradshaw from the Naka Villa Keatons Club, who's taking charge of proceedings today. set and ready to go and it is not a very final. Any second now, Sean Bradshaw will try and find the ball. 
to force into field in there. Boris came from right to left in the first half of the throw in, and we and Nina forced into the attack there. The, the, the ball knocked away from him there, pulled on first time there by John Keane. Just get great. He stopped there by Richie Flannery for Aero, setting up an attack for the Aero old men. Philip Beat under there in a trustful for possession is fouled as he does so by Noel Maloney, and it's going to be a free out for Boris. No one, Philip taking it very quickly and sending the ball that Son and the Nina played in defensive eyes there, but they've managed to scramble it away. Not very far. Only comes to tell Brendan Maher. Brendan, wearing number 25, field, knocks it back out towards Andrew Welsh. Andrew Welsh looks at the ball, strikes it, it's tailing a little, it's very close to the knocked out there by the goalkeeper, Michael McNamara. Out over the end line for a 65, the first 65 of the evening to Boris Ali. Now, Angelo, in his first attempt on goal. Got some great, got some great scores against Tommy Barra in the semi-final, hoping to carry on and open his account and Boris Lee's account from this long-range shot. He gives a plenty of air, it's tailing to the right and it's gone, or it's gone over the end line and gone wide. So, still, after just a minute of play, Boris Lee no score, Aero Gnina no score. Michael McNamara, his first puck out of the evening, into the sun. Here he comes now and gets a great long distance. He's dropping in about 40 meters out from the Boris Lee goal. Two Boris Lee players going. The man who directs it there is Patty Stead. Patty Stead fields it there stylishly there and wins himself a free. So another free out to Boris. And it looks as though Philip, Philip Abbey, the captain of the side, is coming across to take this one. And did he is. And this should be dropping well inside the danger territory for A. Rogue if he gets the same length as he got in the last one. And as he does, he's dropping Minnis and Lena on that goal there. Players going up for down the football. Caught inside by Rory Canard, Rory Canard trying to get home. Be surrounded there by blue shots. Goal lets the ball go to ground. The man who comes out, there's somebody coming out of there for Nina. Pans it out, and uh, Nina player loses his helmet there. But the man who doesn't lose it now is Declan Maher. Declan Maher strikes it stylishly over his head and strikes it over the bar for the opening score of this North final and Borussia's opening score. It's one point for Boris, no score for a rogue. This afternoon, without the uh, services of Martin Maher and uh, Philip Maher, of course, and as well as Mark Bork was able to put in their place there. Now, Owen Stapleton has his hook there by a number by an, an aero player. It comes nice with Paul Ryan. Paul Ryan has it now for Nina, loses position there, and Paul Patrick Stapleton has a Patrick, taps it out neatly there towards his cousin Owen Stapleton. Owen comes back in field, strikes it low along the ground, stop there for. For me, by, I think it's Eddie Tucker. A, a nice strike there from Eddie Tucker. Eddie Tucker, and beautifully put over the ball to bring over the bar to bring the sides back to level pegging. One point for Nina. One point for Boris. Jody Hacker now. It's his turn to take his first puck out. Jody drills it right down the middle, dropping. Now what? between the centre back and centre forward, needed him, the man in backing dropping back there was Eddie Tucker for Aero Nina. Drive, drives to this side of the field, coming out ahead there was Martin Tracy. Martin Tracy gets ahead there for Boss Lee towards Aiden Cohen. Aiden Cohen pulls him to the ground and it won't come up at the first time. Ball ricochets there of a hurry, pulled on there by Angela Welch driving in infield, but back there, it looks like it's Huey Maloney. I think it's Huey Maloney is back there. I can't wait to see as he turns his back. In fact, it is Huey Maloney and it's going to bring himself a free, a free out for Aero. It's going to be taken by Hugh Flannery. Standing <laughs> over now, about 40 yards out from his own post. Rising and striking it now, getting plenty of distance, oh. dropping in the Boris Ali, danger area, right in around the house there, and it goes right into goalkeeper Jody Hatton. Jody clears it there, and despite the attentions of a knee forward, but it comes straight into the hands there of John Key, and John skypes it a bit, falls a little as he does so, but gets it long enough there to drop into the Boris forward, forward line, and across to clear it there's Roy Canan, Roy Canan pans it outside towards Angela Welch, Angela Welch can take it and the stick, being tackled by two players, has his puck blocked down there by, by Hugh Flannery, breaks it again towards Angela Welch, Angela Welch sidesteps. One man gets it out to Aiden Cohen. The ball drops to the ground. Tackle there. Uh, well, the, ball, the hero man knocks it away. But the man who has it now is Richie Flannery. Stylishly, but a drop in infield there. Players going up for it there. Man going after it now to try and retrieve it for Nina. Gets a very heavy challenge there. John Kennedy takes a heavy challenge there to the back. And uh, James Maher, I think, is the one who's going to be called to side. Should be ensured the black, the black book. A little black book, so this will be a free for Nina just outside the Boris 65 meter line. It is free, well, it was outside, but now it's inside. So, as Kevin Tucker steals the yard or two, and his chance to put Air Rogue in front. 
Here he comes now, he strikes it high, it's heading, it's tailing, it's gone to the right and gone wide. So the score remains after about four, four and a half minutes, one point for Boris, one point for Mina. Jody Harkin to poke out, taking his time. That fires it over to that far side this time, dropping down there between the uh, Tucker knocked the head there a little bit for Boris towards Roykin and two players go to the ground. I don't know who has got it inside, I think it's Declan Mahan. Very difficult to know, but the man who comes away with it there is Great Chief Flannery, pans it outside there towards Hugh Flannery. Hugh Flannery being tackled by uh, Angela West, but still gets in his pocket and drops it there about 50 yards or 60 yards out from the Boris pole. Now away, away comes Bill Darby, playing way out the field and deemed to have thrown that ball there and um, the referee giving a free to their old Nina. So just for dissension there now they'll be penalised another 10 metres. In fact I'd say it's probably more like 20. And then uh, an easier chance for Kevin Tucker to redeem himself for that last miss. Now Kevin standing back. About 15 yards in from touch, strikes this one a better one. Looks good and it's straight over the bar, right over the black spot. So Nina go in front. Two points to Borussia one. Five minutes gone in the first half. Jody Harkin. Now what will he do with this one? Will he drill it down the middle or drill it? Exactly as well. He's, yes, he's pulling it a bit to this side there towards Angela Welch there. And Angela Welch going back to collect the time, trying to collect it there with John Flannery. And John is going to ground. You know, a number of players rustling and rustling, but eventually coming away with the ball there for Nina was, uh, I think, maybe Eddie Tucker. Anyway, for, for Anne Boris Lee being penalised, the further bell, it's, they'll go, if, they, if they continue to do that, they're not going to. They're not going to do themselves any good. Another chance now for Nina to enter their turn right dead in the middle of the field. Taking this one, Hugh Flannery. <laughs> Standing over it. No wind to face anywhere, just the sun. It will have the distance. Has it got the accuracy? No, it's gone to the right and gone wide. So, still remains. Nina two points, Boris one point. Jody Harkin firing it over to that far side this time, dropping it down. And there once again, and numbers of players tossing it forward, and the man who has it now are trying to get it there for Boston doesn't succeed, whereas Richie Flannery has it for me, and doing very well in the centre back position. And But his puck goes out of that touchline over on that far side, and it's going to be a line ball for, for Boris. This line ball it looks as though it's going to be taken by Vincent Stevenson. <laughs> Vincent Stilton now gets a lovely strike now. Plenty of air as they stay up between the Flannery and also back is Eddie, is Eddie Tucker. And now it is Steve Tuffet here with a one handed attempt to pick up there by Boris, but doesn't succeed. John Keane has it now. John Keane going off on a solo and being followed by Julian up there. Heading towards the touch, make that three now as he heads in the past. Drills it in, feel in there. Well, just in, inside there, toss Pierce Ryan. Pierce Ryan drops it high and over the bar. Well, if you ever saw economy, that was it. Keane collecting. Taking out a number of players after him and passing it inside to Pierce Ryan who popped it over to bring the sides level. It's now two points for Boris, two points for, for Nina. Michael, Michael McNamara coming out now and finding a good puck out way up the field. Oh, the, oh, oh great catch over there. What a great catch there by Patrick, Patrick Stapleton. Now free has been won and this one will be taken I'm sure by Philip Corbett. Philip who's the captain of the side and taking the free quickly as well, putting Nina under as much pressure as possible, not giving the defence a chance to organise as the ball drops, Grant Hitter inside there a chance. He rooted out somewhere by a Nina player and in fact there's a Nina player, I think it may have been John Brennan who was fouled in there so it's going to be a free out to Nina. To, to go back into the precious few yards that everybody likes to steal. <laughs> he's, really, he's really teeing it up. Standing well back now. Here he comes now. <coughs> Lifts it. 
and strikes it and gets a good shot right up the middle there, going up to the going up to put down the ball, and the ball breaks eventually in the direction of John Kennedy. The ball is not away from Cossie, and he took it, he took it, he's a bit of a challenge, a muzzle of a challenge there, robbed there by Brenda, Brenda Maher, Brenda Maher, playing outfield. Cossie is a Roy Canan using his large frame there to come out and try and knock a number of players out, out of his way. I did. The man who uh, somehow gets it out the field. Going over there, toss Pierce Ryan there and John Brennan. John Brennan wins the tussle there, being tackled over Pierce Ryan. Gets in his pocket and a good, a good pocket is too. Dropping in around the centre back and centre forward position. For, but um, Philip Rabis has moved out and he's there. Uh, uh, the ball breaks and a chance here now for him. Norman Maloney going right in. Norman Maloney's fouled inside there. And somehow Jody Harkin comes out and smothers the shot. And the players tossing there. Boris trying to get it in. Mean that eventually it goes out over the line there for a 65. Well, for a moment there the Morris League goal was leading a charmed existence and looked all over as Noel Maloney broke through but somehow Jody Harkins smothered his effort and the ball eventually winds for going out for a 65. Oh. Taking plenty of time anyway. Coming up to take his shot now. Rises, strikes it. It looks as though it may. Well, no, it hasn't. It has gone to the right and gone wide. So he's not having the best of success with these long range shots today. It still remains two points for Boris, two points for Nina. And we're now playing about 11 minutes in this as the puck out is taken right into the centre of the field. More positional than anything else. Comes in to Seamus Maher. Seamus Maher looking for a point there. Dropping in there for Mike Magnamata. Somehow goes well. Michael McNamara was most uncomfortable with that ball dropping in there, but somehow it bounced off his body and went out for a 65. It could have been more costly from a Nina point of view. A looping shot there from Seamus Maher, and with the sun in his eyes, the keeper was under a certain amount of pressure, but somehow it stood out. So it's it's Boris's turn now for their 65, and coming up to take this 65, it looks like it's going to be David O'Connor. David O'Connor going to take this 65 now, having Angela Welsh taking the first one, not, uh, not so successful, so a chance now for Boris to go back in the lead, as this one is struck high, and it's gone to the right and gone wide, well, if Eddie Chuck, Kevin Tucker can do it on one side, so also can the Boris and the men, so it's, it remains two points apiece, coming up to 12 minutes. This is Mike Lamar now in that got over that scare of the last ball that ricochet there and gets a great puck out, dropping it right on the ball's half back line. Stopped there by Patrick Stead and Patrick Stevenson has it now. Leaning down there towards Aiden Cohen there and um, Richard Gunner and even gets it. The man that does get his Pierce Ryan. Pierce Ryan moving away there from John Brennan. Pierce Ryan picks his spot, strikes it high. Oh, a lovely strike there by Pierce Ryan, putting Boris back in front. And that's two points there now for this a man wearing number 17. So of two of Boris's three points have come from the stick of Pierce Ryan. It's Boris 3, Nina 2. Now, Michael McNamara goes to tries the far side this time. Players going up for it there, and eventually comes to Michael Hackett. Michael Hackett going up on the solo run there, being tackled over there by, by um, Martin Tracy. He still gets in his pocket, past the right into the centre of the field. Players jump up. The man who has it now is Norman Maloney for a row. Coming out to make room to swing his stick, swings it high, and it looks as though it's an accurate one, and the, by, and the sides are level once again. It's now. Three points for Boris, three points for Nina. As we come up to 14, 14 and a half to 14 minutes gone in this first half. Well, there's nothing between those, these sides. They've been little on three occasions already in this game as the ball drops down there between the corner, but the man who comes across the whips it up as Hugh Flannery for Barrero. Who drops it up there towards Noel Maloney. Out ahead there, Philip Rabit. Gets the turn on Philip Rabit, going away from him now. Noel Maloney having scored a point a few minutes ago. Drills it in low this time, saved inside there. Air by uh, Jody Harkin. He kept his eye on it all the way. Ball batted down there, ball going up in the air. Players pulling and comes right across there. Hard pull there on Hugh Maloney as the ball was just hitting the ground, so it's going to be a free for. And I see the referee reaching for the book for Angela Welsh. I'm sure this will be a black. A black uh, well, it's, will it be black or will it be yellow? Well, it's black this time, all right. He's still okay. As this free run was out on the touchline just outside the worst 65 meter line to be taken by Hugh, Hugh Flannery. Mm. <laughs> Rise it now. 
Jake's a dropping it in. It's well, it's dropped too far and it's gone to the left and gone wide. But certainly neither have had their share of wides in this game, much more than Boris. Boris have been economical with that ball and they've got it into that inside forward line. They have only had a couple of wides, as Jody Harkin gets a great lint into this one, way off to that far side there. there Bears going up for it there, and Seamus Nahan trying to trust him to get away from there for Boris, trying to back his way through, but it doesn't work and it goes straight to Richie Flanagan, who drop hooks into the centre of the field. Man who has it now is Kevin Tucker. Kevin Tucker going away, sidestepping once, then sidestepping his then passes it up where he gets it off Paul Ryan. Paul Ryan fires it in, but he fires it to the left and wide. Well, the initial work had been done there before the pass came to Paul Ryan, and one, well, there's a, a loose Boris man now, he was waiting for the quick uh, puck out, but that's not going to come his way now, as the up players seem to be marked. Jody Harkin going the, all the way over to that far side there now, where it's going to drop it in. Eventually drops uh, with John Brennan. John Brennan passes it back there, where he gets it back, back to his uh, centre back, he's deemed back to have. Uh, the ball is stayed up, the referee's whistle is gone, the ball had done nothing to play on that far side, so the linesman's flag is up. It's about 40 metres or so out from the Nina Post. John looking for a nice contact on this one, gets it, drills it low. He didn't hope to get it, but it, and it's ruled, got away there for Nina. But then he goes straight there, goes Brendan Maher, Brendan Maher. Brendan Maher looks at the boss, a lovely strike there by Brendan Maher. The youngster who's coming to the side today, striking it and sending it over the bar. So that puts Boris back in front by the narrows to the margins once again. It's Boris four, Nina three. 17 minutes gone in the first half. Michael Namara's puck out. Way over to this now. Once again, it's between David O'Connor there and uh, Kevin Tucker. Kevin Tucker has it now, going out to make room to swing his stick. We had a hook there, a block down there by Brendan Maher. We have his ear there is Eddie Tucker. Eddie Tucker is it up along when he gets it up towards Norm Maloney. Norm Maloney fires it in there to the, the full forward line, but the ball eventually got out over the, the end line and it's gone out for a 65. <laughs> Here he comes now, lifts, strikes, a lot about accuracy, it looks fairly okay, I'd say yes, it's all the way, and the sides are level once again, it's for all, well, at the rate things are going, we certainly couldn't rule out a draw here this evening. Now Jody Harkins, here he comes, gets it right down the centre there. There's going up for it there. It can be Aiden Cohen being collected. Aiden Cohen, well, the ball may fall kindly for him now. Yes, it has to the back there where he gets it all. But it's Owen Stevenson. Owen Stevenson firing it in there now where Rory can hand one and one with the full back. Rory can hand right through. He must score. He shoots there. Oh, a one and one. He beat John Slattery and well done in. It was, it was when he was one and one, as I say, the full forward line and the full back left inside on their own. He got the turn on and shot it straight across Michael O'Mara into the back of the net. So, Boris get the first goal of this North final. Now, let's see what the Nino response is going to be as the puck out is taken. Comes down to John Keane. John Keane lets it fall to the ground, picks up, being tackled, being followed by two Nina players. Been tackled by the third one, gets away, takes, and the ball is robbed of him there. And he comes eventually towards Eddie Tucker. Eddie Tucker has it now for Nina. He's been surrounded by both of the players. Passes it back there to John Flannery. Has his puck blocked down. Players crowding all over the one stair to try to get it there for Boris now. Succeeds in doing so. Dodges the uh, tackle there, but still gets in. He's drive just the same. In towards Roy Canan again. Canan falls to the ground. It may be fortunate for him, but John Brennan has it now. John Brennan scoops it out, going back towards his own goal. Strikes it over his shoulder. And he works it for safety at this stage, and the ball goes out over the touchline. Well, it's kept in play over there by Seamus Maher. It's not now, it's gone. So it's, it's a line ball where it's worked out fortunate for Nina there. It's meanwhile, there's an injury to a Nina player. I think it may be their fullback, John Slattery, I'm not too sure. He may have injured himself in that, that tussle at that time, but it doesn't look too serious.
Thankfully, John Slattery is okay and on his feet again as the line ball is taken for Nina there by John Flannery. Way over to this side to Boris Lee man coming out there. Ooh, there and he may have been, he, may, he, he missed that ball there. Going off now is Kevin Tucker. Kevin Tucker breathing down the Boris goal. He's surrounded by two players. Turns it the other way. Has his puck blocked down there by a, a sea of maroon jerseys as uh, the Boris man wins his free out. The man who wins is Patrick Stapleton and it's, it's going to be a free out for Boris. And Philip Rabi coming out once again to take this one, taking his time, taking this free now. And I'm sure when he gets plenty of air on this one, it will drop. And once again, it looks like that John Slattery is in trouble. He's run down again. And it looks as though his participation in this North final is, is all but over. And uh, John Slattery having to leave the field, it looks like a knee injury. And man replacing him will be number 21, who will be David Hackett. The substitution on the knee day row team, number 21, David Hackett, will replace the injured number three, yeah. Johnny Slattery. David, yes. And um, full power, Norman Lone seems that he's going back full back anyway, but uh, meanwhile we'll follow the switches in a minute. There's a mini inside around the Mina goal, and Boris having another chance here. Declan Ma has his puck locked down, Seamus Mahal is there too, but somehow Nina gets it out. But Boris then, Declan Ma has it again for so being tackled and being hooshed out, uh, out the field there. Gets it in towards Angela Welch, being tackled by Nina there by Huey Maloney. Back there to, to his uh, Hugh Flannery. And now a sea of blue jerseys, but eventually Brendan Maha, Brendan falls to the ground, and the referee says he's fouled, and it's going to be a free in. Brendan Maher having a wonderful game. This youngster who is such a bright prospect for Boris and hopefully greater things in time to come. Winning a free there, so now a chance for Boris to go four points in front. The replacement there on the Nina team was David Hackett. So a chance for Angela Welsh. And he hasn't had that many opportunities now for freeze in this game so far, but he should get this one, he should get this one anyway. It's one four to four points. It should be one five to four points. As he strikes it neatly over the bar. So it's Boris now leading by double score. Eight points to four. As we come up to about 23 minutes or so gone in this, uh, 23 minutes gone in this in this first half. Of course, there will be a, num a few minutes injury time at the end of it. But anyway, Michael Namara will take this puck out. And though he does a long, long one down the middle between, drop between Patrick Stebbs and players uh, and... Uh, uh, a foul there on the, by a Nina player on the Boris Lee player, so a free down for Boris from the, their centre back position. I'm coming out to take it once again. It's Philip Rabiz. Philip thinks about a quick one, but now instead he's going to steady his ship and he will put the Nina defence under further pressure now as this will drop right in on the goal line again. Here he comes now. His light gives him plenty of air. Dropping down right in the, the Nina Square. Players go up for the Nina defence batted out. They got out there to Zeddy Tucker. Zeddy Tucker has the ball taken away from him there by Pierce. By Declan Maher. Declan Maher and Tull is blocked down there. Two Nina players there. Well, five goes to ground. Nina Borsi players there as well. But it's uh, pushing and pushing. But uh, Brendan Maher has it again. I don't know how he got it up there. DJ Carey style to get it up there. A magnificent point from uh, Brendan Maher there. I don't know how he lifted that ball so quickly inside in that sea of players. But he did. And, and to strike it over the bar was the full was the real full really the full complement so as Boris stretching their lead now it's one six for Boris four points for Nina as Michael McNamara's puck out goes a long long way down again there's Bell going up for there the Boris of the half back line well on top of the Nina half out at the moment John Keane coming into it going up in a solo run now Stiles shot into the grip in the six stops and just ball in there between Roy Kinnan and he's going very close to right into the goalkeeper there saved and saved by Michael McNamara Michael McNamara takes a tumble there from the inrushing Boris forward, uh, Roy Kinnan, and it's going to be a free from where the ball landed, I presume, now. <laughs> Top name, Boris. This is a no nonsense Boris Lee attack this evening, anyway. Every time they get the ball, they're threatening danger. Be a free dead in the centre of the field for Nina when 
when proceedings get underway. Kevin Tucker getting ready to take it already. He's side trailing by five points as we move into the last five minutes of this opening half. I just has something going here. Strikes it high. It looks as so it's tailing, but it may not go. He has gone the distance, but it's gone to the, also hasn't the accuracy, so it remains. One six to four points. And Nina really have had their share of wides in this game. Jody fires it right down the middle this time between Aiden and Cohen there. And then the ball breaks off a of Cohen strike. It comes back to Brendan Maher who fires it in, but this time not with the same reward the ball goes to the left and goes wide so it still remains one six to four points I think McNamara having shaken off that heavy that heavy, heavy challenge there from Rory Canal hoping that he'll be all right now here he comes he looks to be in suffering no ill effects of that as he fires his puck out way over that far side there there's going up for knock knock down there by Vincent Stapleton and Paul Boris and the leaf there Patrick Stapleton has it for, for Boris and sends the ball in towards Aiden Cohn Aiden Cohn there and half loses possession there and Manor has it now with Noel Maloney Noel Maloney having moved back to Nina having reshuffled their team David Hackett has it now the new man pans it outside there where he gets it towards uh, John Flannery John Flannery about to be tackled on by Matthew Tracy turns inside strikes it now it looks as though well it's got the old syndrome it's gone to the left and gone wide I haven't been counting the wides but if it were a game that wides were counting Nina would be well on top it's still 1-6 to 4 points <laughs> Jody Hopkins will puck out away it goes over to that far side there now between Aiden Tucker and Sean Maha and Seamus Maha and the Boris Lee man gets it somewhere and well, Stephen Maher has it players in a melee there, I don't know who, who has it, but the man who has it eventually is Angela Welch. Angela Welch strikes it neatly, but yes, he's got it, a beautiful boy, but how Boris economic, and when they get the ball, they certainly know where the posts are. It's now six points between the sides, one seven for Boris, four points for Nina. And uh, Michael McNamara, Michael McNamara drops it out now. It's going up there as Dr. Connor gets it out. A number of players going after it, but the man who has it now, Paul Waters there, is uh, Brendan Maher. Brendan Maher fouled as he tries to get away there, and just outside his own 65 meter line, a free. And it looks as though John Keane is going to take it. Now it looks as though David O'Connor is going to take it. Yes, David O'Connor is going to be the one to take it. Just this is a long, long way out, just outside his own 65 meter line. And only about five or six, maybe eight or nine yards in from touch. Strikes it now. It's got plenty of height, but I don't think the accuracy will do. No, it's gone to the right and gone wide. So the score remains. One seven for Boris, four points for me now. Michael McNamara doing juices once again, getting plenty of lint into these, and he get the same lint in the second half. There's not even there's a foul there railed by uh, Vincent Stapleton. I think it was on Declan Amara over on that far side, so it's going to be a free for, for Nina on that far side, and running out to take it is Kevin Tucker. Well, it must be said that he's not getting the easiest of freeze, and this certainly isn't the easiest of one either. It's very near the touchline, it's about 40 yards out from the Boris Post. And from a Nina point of view, it's important that he gets this when they haven't scored in quite a long time, and we're not too far away from the half-time whistle. In fact, we're going, we're going into injury time right now. As Dan, he's got, he fires it right across the face of the goal and gone wide. Well, if they lose, as the quick puck out is taken, it goes to John Keane. John getting plenty. Well, he got he'd have hoped for more lint into, and the referee is not satisfied with this uh, quick puck out. He's ordering it to be retaken. So. Now, Jody won't be in any hurry to take it now because he's cider in front and uh, it's not going to be that much of an advantage to him to take it quickly. Goes around the far end of the goal. Here he comes. And he gives it plenty of air to drop it in Angela Welch and Hugh Flannery. Well, the referees just deems that the Borsalim and had fouled before the ball came down, so it's going to be a free out for Nina about 50 yards, 50 yards from their own goals. <laughs> Hugh Flannery looks as though he's going to take this one. <laughs> to set up what he hopes will be an attack for, for Nina. Here he comes now, lobbing in on the Boris 20 meter line. There are players going off for hands, going off for a very dangerous ball inside. Not have to know, but there's a sea of maroon shots there. 
and the referee blows up for half time. And at half time, a most satisfactory first half from a Boris point of view, they lead this North Streamerlin Championship final by six points. One goal and seven points to a road minus four points. But Here is McDonough Park, Nina Silla, Sundrench Park, and Boris lead by six points. And we're about to start the second half. And in goes the ball, and away we go. And hard pulling there in the middle of the field. The ball had it too quickly there by Eddie Tucker, drilling it in quickly into the Boris full foul. And oh, and Johnny Harkins takes a tumble there. He falls over and he recovers. He's, he's been tackled by two Nina players now. He's in difficulty now. And a chance here for Aero. The ball's panned outside. Doesn't, doesn't, well, fortunate there for Boris. It's not, the danger is not over yet. And uh, the player losing his footing there, almost causing consternation in the Boris pullback line. Nina have won themselves a free and a chance for them to get the opening score of the second half. Sure, Nina anxious to get on the score sheet pretty quickly. They trail by six points, one seven to four points. Indeed. Kevin Tucker taking this one now. It's a bit nearer, but it's a little bit more. And it's gone over the bar. They're the opening score of the second half, and Arrow are off. Open their account for the second half. It's now won seven to five points. Boris the leaders. Jody Harkins. Meanwhile, the referee is just having a word there with uh, Patrick Stilps and I think, and uh, Eddie Tucker. As Jody comes up now to take this puck out, he'll have the sun in his eyes. Now, uh, as a substitution on the Nina team, Cormac Galvin, number 19, will be replacing John Flannery. As the meanwhile, the play goes on. Nina on the attack again, the ball being fired in there towards the full of out comes Philip Rabit, falls over there. John Noel Maloney, who's gone back to the full power position there. And and, it, and that ball drilled in there by David Hackett is still not oh and the ball is hitting and tittering around the Boris Lee going out a certain amount of uncertainty there as the ball is hit out there by Owen Stapleton setting up Boris on the attack now oh is uh, Seamus Maher Seamus Maher being followed now this time by Michael Hackett fires it across there well somehow comes Huey Maloney Huey Maloney cutting off the supply there to the Boris forward line gets it towards Eddie Tucker Eddie Tucker unmarked for a little while drills it in towards the full forward line and then uh, the near full forward line out, players falling all over the place there. And out, out away comes uh, Owen Stems and Owen Stems and towering out the field there, pants the ball. It's fouled as he gets rid of the ball, and it's going to be a free up from Boris from where the ball lands. Well, maybe he might have been better off to let the player run there as the Boris now is in possession, but however, he's blown and it's a free for Boris. Great defending there by Owen Stapleton after a little bit of hesitancy in the opening minute of that second half. So, a chance now. And this looks as though Brendan Maher, yes, it's Brendan Maher, is going to take this free. Well, what a wonderful start to his second half if this goes over for him. From about 60 yards, it's high, it's trailed, but it's gone to the left and gone wide. So, score remains, 1-7 for Boris, 5 points for AO, 10 points to 5. Michael McNamara, Michael McNamara now. Taking his puck a long, long run down to the centre of the field again. A player by Eddie Tucker has the ball knocked away from there by Patrick Stair. He comes there to, to another Boris now who fires it up into there towards Pierce Ryan. Pierce Ryan has the ball knocked away from there by Anthony Quinn. Anthony Quinn hands it outside, but he intercepts his Aiden Cohen. Bowing back there is Huey Maloney. He's waiting to go, he's way put off towards one. So he turns back in field and gets a good delivery on it. Dropping in there towards Patrick Stair. Two Nina players there with Patrick Stair. One of them is there. He is the come. He's the, 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 uh, Tom Rock uh, Hackett, but he doesn't get the ball, but the man who does get it and get away somehow for Boris there. There was Vincent Stevens and then knocking it away. Players going everywhere. Uh, Nina Man has it now. The man who has it now is Noel Maloney. He's surrounded there by three Boris Lee players. He's fouled there by a Boris Lee player and it's going to be a free in for, for Nina. And Nina certainly opening much brighter in the second half than they finished the first anyway. That's for certain. And a chance here now for uh, Kevin Tucker to reduce their areas to four points. 
We're now playing four minutes, almost four minutes of the second half. As Kevin Tucker now should be relatively easy free for him. It is indeed as he pops it over to the bar and reduces the Boris deficit, the, the, need, the deficit now to four points. Boris lead put to four points. It's one seven to six points. Well, this is the time now when Boris will be hoping to be able to keep that composure. Nina bound to come with an onslaught early in the second half as Jody Hawkins puck out goes straight down the middle. There's Tusty for a dead in corn as the ball is just succeeding getting it. Quite breaks towards Eddie Tucker. Eddie Tucker has it now firing in once again there between, between um, Philip Labiche and, and um, Noel Malloy. The ball breaks there, comes towards. Uh, well, it was going to be kind for Declan Lamara there, but there was a foul on the Boris Lehman on Stapleton, so it's going to be a free out for Boris. And Philip Provit is by now about 45 to 40 metres out from, from his own goal. As he stands well back, he'll be anxious to get this way up into the Nina danger territory now. Here he comes now. Strikes it, gets plenty of air, and it's going to drop right into the square there. Players putting up the hole his hands and goes into the same name, could go anywhere. It's gone out, it's gone out for a 65, gone out there off of a, an arrow there, and it's going to be a 65. The referee is going in there. Has he spotted something? No, it looks as though it is going to be a 65 for Boris anyway. It's a square, it's in fact it's a free out, it's a square ball there, but it's really has overruled. Uh, so it's going to be a free out for Nina. And they'll be, they'll be glad of that. Michael McNamara now, it's about six and a half minutes gone in the second half. Michael McNamara's puck, oh it's a long one, way down the centre. Patrick Stevenson there is going to go over his head there. I'm going to drop in Norm Maloney. Norm Maloney has it now, coming away there. Has the ball outside, where he gets it to Kevin Talker. Kevin Talker drills it in low. Cross to Declan O'Mara. Declan O'Mara doesn't control it at the first end. He's attacking now by Owen Stevenson. Pans it outside to Kevin Talker again. Kevin Talker fires it in. His puck blocked down. The, the players fall into the ground. The ball is two Neenham and collide over there. And eventually it's cleared out. Brendan, who's playing all over the pitch now. The ball goes towards Aiden Cohen. Aiden Cohen. The ball goes off of uh, a Neenham stick over there on that far side. And it's going to be a line ball for Burroughs just inside the Neenham 65 metre line. John Keane looks as though he's lining up to take this one. John thinking about a quickie, but I think he might be better off to take him. Now, standing back, waiting for the whistle. And he fires it across the field there, but he goes straight into the hands there of Hugh Flannery. Hugh Flannery falls to the ground with a little helping hand from a Boris player, and it's going to be a free for Nina. And Michael Theory, Michael Theory looks as though number 25 is coming in on the Nina team, and I just wonder who's going off. And uh, I can see you there now, I just wonder who's going off. Number 25, Michael Theory, replaced number 12, Declan O'Mara. Declan O'Mara is the player who's made way for. Michael Theory as this free is taken now by Hugh Flannery, dropping it right in the danger and up they go, hands Oh, a terrific catch there by the powerful man himself, uh, Phil Brabby, loses the ball on the way out though and surrounded by a number of blue shots. Who they get it out along the ground somewhere, it comes to Declan now, overruns it. Now, Nina now getting the ball and it comes this way, comes back towards uh, 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 Kevin Tucker and the ball goes over the bar and that's the third point for Nina in a row in the opening minutes of the second half. We're playing about eight minutes of the second half and they've reduced the deficit to the one score once again. Boris yet to register in this second half. It's one seven to seven points. Nina fans getting behind their side now down in under us here as Jody Harkin would get the puck out. And a good one it is too. Boris needs to get their shape. As the ball is within towards the ball knocked away from him there, it comes there, it comes and out towards and I'm not too sure who has it now, but eventually the ball goes out of the first line off the ball is there there and it's going to be it's in fact Brendan Maher, so the ball has gone out for a, a line ball for Nina. Everything going Nina's way now at the moment. And Anthony Quinn now looks as though he's going to take this one, indeed he is. Anthony Quinn drills it and doesn't get it very far. It's not there by Brendan Maher. Number of red players or Player, eventually there's a player going to the man for Nina who has it now is well he's well bottled up and he goes out over the cushion and it's going to be a line ball. It's going to be a line it was uh, Michael Hackett who went out over the first line there and the referee. Behind, there seems to be uh, there's a 
Seamus Nahar looks as though he's going off the Boris team and I just wonder who's going on. Yes, Seamus Nahar has gone off. And in a moment we'll find out who's who's who, who's going on. Yes, Sean Maher is with uh, Sean Maher replaces uh, Seamus Maher. And a nice strike there by Declan Maher, Sean's brother, as the ball is dropped inside that for Rory Kinnan once again. And the ball, and Rory Kinnan is fouled as he gets the ball, using his big size there to try and win that ball, and so he did and was fouled, and it's going to be a chance for Boris to get their first score of the second half, and it will have taken all of 10 minutes almost to come. Angelo Welch to take this free now. Angelo standing over it now, it should be a relatively easy one. He taps it over to put four points between the sides again. It's one eight to seven points for us, the leaders. Michael McNamara standing back now and giving it plenty of distance. Oh my, it's a mighty one. It's going to drop way down about 30 yards off the Boris goal. Players putting up their hands for my Lord Maloney to goes to Lord Maloney goes to ground there and it's going to be a free in for uh, he takes a rather heavy challenge as well, so it's going to be a free in for a row. And the chance to reduce it to the one goal syndrome again. <laughs> Noel Maloney seems to be okay again. Kevin Tucker prepares to take this free. It should be another white flag. And that it is. And now the score is 1-8 uh, to eight, so 8 points. Well, this game is still delicately balanced. As we're just about 11 minutes into the second half. Jody Harkins puck out to that far side there. Sean Maher going up for it there also. Tucker, the ball beats them all and goes out over the first line. And it's going to be a line ball for Nina. About 60 yards out from their own goal. Hugh, Hugh Flannery is going to be the taker of this one. <laughs> Flannery now with a nice strike and that one goes straight into the hands there of Boris Mann and the Boris Mann there is Brendan Maher. Sends it up there to Rory Canand while the goalkeeper reads the situation quickly and comes out and sees his lines well. Copy right out into the centre of the field. There's with the sun in their eyes. Ball breaks towards the Nina man. The Nina man there. Well, eventually it's with Eddie Tucker going out the field. Has his puck half blocked down there. Well done by Sean Maher. A great race to Hugh Maloney. Hugh Maloney trying to get away from John Keane. Hampton inside there. Nina on the move now. The hand pass and it goes inside towards to David Hackett. David Hackett's shot is high and it goes over the bar. And now there's just two points between the sides as Nina really staging a great comeback. Now, now one eight, to, one eight to nine points. One eight to nine points as Jody Jody Harkin prepares to take this puck out again. Here he comes now, and he gets towards this side this time. And the Maher looking at their players going up for the man who has it there is Declan Maher. Declan Maher who stopped the ball there. And Nina and Brendan Maher, number of Boris players in there, also a number of Nina players. Brendan Maher half pulled there by Anthony Quinn, starts it out again. And there are goes up David Hackett. Very close to the touch line here, pulled on there. Uh, and sent in towards Eddie Tucker. Eddie Tucker, number of players bunching there, hard pulling in there. We don't know who has the ball. Eventually, a Nina man has it. The man, well, great stuff there. It's picked by Sean Maher. Sean Maher has it now. The crowd is sent there as they all just go very far. A man who collects it there is John Kennedy. John Kennedy, button up at the play, button up there as he tries to get away. A great tussle there. The ball eventually goes over the touchline. Great passage of play there. And uh, John Kennedy there on, on his knees as his heart. Hard tacked in there by both sides and the ball eventually going off of the touchline there for a line ball for Nina. Nina really putting it up to Boris now in the second half. Kevin Tucker going to take this line ball. It'll be about 40, about 40 yards out from the Boris goals. Meanwhile, John Candy needs some attention and he's tying his boots now, but he seems to be okay. <laughs> We, the way it's here now, as Kevin Tucker prepares to take this, this. Now, we wait, there's another substitution, I think it's Tom Bomber Staten seems to be lining up there, uh, and there's nice, oh, a lovely cut way over that far side there, going into the open space, in fact it's two with a cut actually, it's gone out over the end line and gone wide, a beautiful strike on it there by Kevin Tucker, but uh, it just carried too, too much pace on the ball and went out. 
all the inline so relief for Boris is this puck out to be taken now Jody Hatton with his team with a slender two point lead ball dropping there between Aidan Cohn there and Richie Flannery ball breaks up out away comes uh, Hugh Maloney takes a heavy shoulder there from Aidan Cohn gets rid of the ball gets it towards Kevin Tucker Kevin Tucker there comes in drops the ball in feet over to this side now here coming between David O'Connor David O'Connor a little bit of pace trouble there but now comes the collector there Michael Thierry Michael Thierry the jinx and twist and turn and sends it over to the open space on that far side going after it there now to the Boris there is Martin Tracy then the man for Nina there is David Hackett Boris man on the ground the Nina man on the ground as well the Boris man has the ball well he's taking coming away with the ball a shot into the grip of the stick doesn't get it very far gets it straight out to Michael Thierry about to be tackled Michael Thierry drops it in there very close to that end line it goes out over the end line and goes wide so relief for Boris but the Boris defence under constant pressure in there now <laughs> and uh, a puck out to be taken as we're oh, just over the halfway mark in the second half. It's about 16, 16 and a half minutes gone or so in the second half. Boris ahead by two points, one eight to nine points as the puck out is taken. A great run from Jody Hart. Jack and Matt fails to hold on to Anthony Quinn is there. The ball breaks, the ball hard pull there on uh, Pierce Ryan there and an opportunity for, uh, I'm sure, for Angelo Welch to uh, put Boris three points back in front again. Now, a very vital free from the Boris point of view. And it's not the easiest, it's about 40 yards out and about 25, 25 to 30 yards in from touch. Angelo Welch taking great care. Rises it now. It looks as though it's gone all the way over the bar. I'd say, all right, it is, yes, a white flag for Boris. And that's only their second point in the second half. It's now one nine to nine points. We <laughs> really have a ding dong last 10 or 12 minutes or so now. Can Boris hold on? Can Nina retrieve the situation? And as the ball is broken there, John Keane has it now. We ought to be tackled there by Eddie Tucker. Gets away from him and then picks out, tries to pick out a teammate. The man who has it there, it's in a good position there of, of Declan Maher. Declan Maher has it now. For, for being tackled there by Huey Malloy. So sees it getting away. Goes after Huey Malloy now. Declan Maher just falls to the ground. The two of them fall to the ground, but the Nina man is deemed to have been fouled and it's going to be a free out. It's going to be a free, well, it's going to be a free out and everything is sorted out. So, uh, free out, well, from the ref as his, his, his writing done. And I think it's a black one again. So, a free for arrow. <laughs> This free is going to be taken by Michael McNamara, the goalkeeper, and I can tell you this one, this one, there's uh, another substitution on the Nina team. Number 20 will be joining the, that will be Robbie Tomlinson. I'm not too sure who's going off. And uh, we'll, we'll follow the play as we see who will be going off in a few moments. Meanwhile, McNamara will be certainly dropping this in the Boris, in around the Boris goal mount. Paul Ryan is prepared to lose out. He goes out from Robbie Thomas. Meanwhile, Michael McNamara is dropping this one on the 20 meter line. Ball so going right through there, a chance there, and eventually is got there by Philip Rabish. Sins it low, not very far, but it may break kindly for him yet. Number the near man there, have it there is Thomas Gavin. It falls to the ground, hard pull there, but still it's going Boris's way, not any longer. And, and how oh, well it does, and it's a block down there by the. The Boris there and it's going to be a, a line ball for a rogue Nina right on their own 65 meter line. Richie Flannery shot being blocked down there. Meanwhile, Brendan Maher seems to have taken a heavy knock on the leg. <laughs> we will resume normal practice now as uh, John Kennedy prepares to take this line ball. John looking around to see if he can see it, a teammate that is. Strikes a lovely strike into the centre there, past field there, where he goes towards Eddie Tucker, where he goes, runs away from there, goes towards Norm Maloney, Norm Maloney and Philip Rabid. Maloney being forced out the field there by the big presence of Philip Rabid, pans the ball in there, but the man who comes away is, is, is Rabid, Rabid, oh, leading by example there, this towering figure there on the full back line, two Nina players score for the man who has it now, Pierce Ryan for Boris, strikes it over his shoulder, it looks a good one, and it is a good one, 
Oh, a beautiful strike by Ryan. He had two beauties in the first half, and that, and that was no lesser of a beauty. It's now puts Boris back three points, four points to the good again. It's 110 to nine points. It could be such a crucial score as we move into the last 10 minutes or so of this game. And here come Boris again. Away they come. The man was coming away there. And sending in the Boris on the attack again, dropping it in there into the no man's zone there. And who's there with Michael O'Mara, the near goalkeeper, who drives it back down the field again, dropping it down on the Boris half back line. But uh, David O'Connor being tackled there by Conor Hackett, but still gets in the being helped there by Patrick Stevenson as he goes to ground after hitting that. Lyre continues there, Jules Maloney back there too is Richie Flannery. Richie Flannery has it, drills it in field to the unmapped. Well, he's unmapped for a moment, but not for very long, but still gets in his puck just the same, right down the centre there towards Eddie Tucker, the man with the red helmet. He makes it easy for any commentator for any which is very, very vivid red helmet. Back there was David O'Connor. David O'Connor sending it back for Boris, but he comes straight. The guy is knocked down towards Conor Gavin. Conor Gavin has it up the field. Up comes David O'Connor. Takes a heavy challenge there from Eddie Tucker. Still continues on his way. Gets his relieving puck over towards Angelo Welch. Angelo Welch is fouled over there by uh, Hugh Flannery, and Hugh Flannery strikes the ground in disgust because that was a free that he needn't probably have given away. So it's a chance for Boris to stabilise things once again. It's a long, long way out. And as the water has been thrown around on this very, very warm evening. Now, Angela Welch, with the sun into his eyes, this would be such a vital free if it were to go over. He rises it now, he strikes it, he gives it everything. It looks as though it's all the way. The umpire says it's all the way over the bar. And Boris are back five points to the good again. It's now 111 to nine points. About seven minutes or so and left in the game as the ball is knocked down now between Eddie Tucker and Patrick Steele. Eddie Tucker has it now, going off and going right through the Boris defence. It's taken to ground there and uh, he's lost his helmet and all in the... And there's a player being called out. I'm sure this might be yellow, all right, but um, it looked more dangerous there if he got inside. Boris was in real trouble. <laughs> Well, in fact, it's uh, Philip Rabiz has lost his helmet, and bought a red helmet, so I think he's... <laughs> spoken to now by the referee anyway, and uh, this will probably be a yellow card. It is indeed a yellow card for the, for the captain there. And while a chance now for... Uh, has Eddie Tucker received some attention? <coughs> And now, as Eddie Tucker seems to have a, a shoulder injury over there. And he took a heavy challenge there. And that, anyway, it's a free from just outside the semicircle, on the semicircle. And is he thinking about going for a goal? The Boris lined the goal. Here he comes now. He rises, he strikes, but he's satisfied with the point. As time takes on, it's now about six minutes, but we will have some injury time. It's 111 to 10 points. One, 111 to 10 points, delicately poised still, and Jody Harkin will take this puck out. Here he comes now. It's holding up in the air now as Declan Maher thinks about going up for it. He's, he's beaten to it there. And still comes to, comes to um, um, Patrick Stebbs who falls to the ground as he hits that one. Way over to that far side towards Rory Canaan there. Rory, Rory Canaan, well, he's, he's, he's been beaten to it this time by John Flattery. John Flattery coming away, trying to get away from it. I get to just get away while the ball goes out for the first time. Dean's have gone out of a ball stick and it's going to be a line ball for Aero on that far side. Going back to take this one now, Richie Flannery. No time to be lost. Well, he leaves it instead now for John Kennedy. John now about halfway between his own goal line and, and the, his own 65 meter line. He strikes it low along the ground, gets it to a teammate. The teammate is Richie Flannery. Side gets away from one ball, gets it infield there, and a foul there on the air old man after the ball is gone. And uh, a chance now for Nina to get further closer to the Boris goal and put more pressure on them. Now this is a chance for Kevin Tucker to bring it down to a one goal game once again. It should be within <laughs> his radius anyway. Now here he comes now. Rises, strikes it and it's gone over the bar, yes, uh, over the bar. So we're back to uh, 11, 11 points, 111 to 11 points, just three points between the sides. As we have about 
five minutes or so, five minutes or so left in this game. Just whatever time the referee will add on for stoppages. Here comes Jody Harkin, talks it up the middle now this time. And Nahar puts up his hand there and lets well as that. It's caught there by Conor Gavin, has his puck half locked down. There's another Nina man there. The players going to the ground. The man who has it there though was John Kennedy. John Kennedy copying it down there between Eddie Tucker there and Patrick Stairs. And neither of them get it. But the man who does get it now, now well, he doesn't get it very far, is uh, his, uh, his, own, his own stairs. And they're late pull there, but it, he was pulling at the ball. Huey Maloney going about to be tackled there by David O'Connor, going off on the solo. Huey Maloney fires it in. He looks as though. And well, very good work there by Jody Hatton, keeping his eye on the ball all the time as the player came and tried to, as the player puts up his hand there, Hugh Flannery, Hugh Flannery firing it back in there now towards Patrick Stairs, and the man who gets it there is Declan Maher, falling back in defence there. Now at this point in time, everybody behind the cause now as well as the stage for both sides, as it's with uh, Richie Flannery, Richie Flannery gets it away there from Roy Canaan. Players putting up the, the holy brace to John Kennedy. John Kennedy for Nina out over the touchline on that far side. And it's going to be a line ball for Boris Ali. A heavy a, a, a shoulder win. And then Tom and Bomber Staten looks as though he's going on for Boris Ali. I just wonder who's leaving the, the arena for Boris now. Uh, we have about three, three and a half minutes or so. Maybe four minutes plus this stoppage time. Meanwhile, there's another substitute. I'm not too sure who's gone off the Boris team yet. It looks as though it could be. We'll hear about it in a moment. It's, uh, I think it's Rory Canan, in fact. No, it's Aiden Cohn. Aiden Cohn, as the line ball is taken. And Brendan Nahar, Brendan Nahar is, uh, has a, has a, takes a fair old wallop there, but uh, before the ball goes out over the inline and wide. So, Aiden Cohn has gone off, and Tom Stakelham has come on. As the, Michael McNamara wants to get on with proceedings now, just three points between the sides, but Boris have that three points. Nina anxious to get down and get somewhere near the Boris zone. Now, Michael McNamara's puck out, straight down the middle this time. Possession vital here now. As players go up for there, batted down there but somehow for Boris, but he comes into the hand there of Michael Hackett. Michael Hackett fires over to that far side there. They are coming out of there. It's Owen Stamps. And Owen Stamps and has it now coming away there. He's tackled, but still gets it. He's puffed just the same. He's fouled as he gets away there. And a great piece of defending there by Owen Stamps and getting away. And Michael Hackett forced into, into fouling him there. And I'm sure Boris won't be in much of a hurry to take this one now. To still lead by three points. The man who's going to take it is Philip Rabiz. Philip now is about 40 yards out from his own post, you know, 10 or 12 inches, gets it, fires a long, long one way down into the Nina danger zone there. Ball and hands going up for Roy Canal. Pull down by Pierce Ryan in there, it's a flash shot, but stopped inside there. There by John Slattery, I think it was, and held further out the field by more near defenders. Doc O'Connor puts up his hand there, John Keane and Tussle there, batted there by Eddie Tucker, doesn't get it very far. Possession vital if any stairs and wins the pull there, gets it to us. Brenda Maher, Brenda Maher has it, loses it out to Eddie Tucker, Eddie Tucker sending it low. Around the, but uh, nobody there but a bonus there. Oh, and Philip Rabiz live very lucky there and very fortunate there as he passes it out there to Martin Tracy. Well, the Boris team were certainly living on their nerve there. The ball is with Rory Canan. If Rory Canan gets this, he could do it. Martin Pierce Ryan has it now, but has the ball knocked away. He's going back now. How oh, hurt for it is Hugh Flannery. Hugh Flannery about to be tackled by Pierce Ryan. Gets a good delivery on the way over to that far side for Nina. Martin Tracy goes over his head. Going back to collect it now. He's on stable. The far Boris about to be tackled. But still gets in his clearance just to say. Very close to the touchdown. Half kept in play. Well, not kept in play any longer. Sean Maher goes. The ball goes out over the sideline. Pressure on now. As Boris defend this just outside their own 65 meter line, a line ball for, for, for Nina. About a minute, two minutes to go, plus time, stoppage time. Now, what will happen here? I think my does this, I think Eddie Tucker is. Paul Ryan has gone back on the Eddie Tucker has gone off as the line ball is taken. And goes in towards Michael Hackett. Players going for it everywhere. The man who's going back is Declan Maher. Ball drilled across there. Stopped to somewhere by Maher. Had it knocked out not that very far, but it goes to Michael Hackett. Michael Hackett about to be tackled over there by, by Declan Maher. He's fouled over there and now further danger for Boris as this ball. Well, will he be satisfied for a point or will he go for, for glory? And hope that they can get on the end of it and get a goal. Just about time is just up now. It's just we're going into injury time. Now is he going to go for is he going to go for a lob it in or is he going to go and chance for a point and maybe hope that they can get a 
a goal at the end of proceedings and snatch it. Now, Michael Theory there running out with Owen Stapleton. I just wonder what's on his mind now. It's not an easy situation for him. He goes, he fires it in high, it goes across the face of the goal and it's gone over the bar. Well now we're down to two points, 111 to 12 points. Now it, it all depends maybe on the referee. Now we're just we're gone, we're in, we're going into injury time. How much of it is to be paid, I don't know. Now Jody Harkins hooks it out. Position vital here now. There's the there's the, well, hard to know who's going to get it. The man who has it now, two balls being collided the ball there. Yui Maloney tried to get it for Nina. Eventually it comes to Brenda Maha. Brenda Maha going up in the solo one. Looks at the post, strikes it high. It's going, going, but it's gone over the bar. Oh, what a beauty. Oh boy, was it a beauty. It held on, it held on, but it dropped over. And there's back. It's now a three point game again. Well, the puck out is taken. The, the referee is missing the ones. Players are had a great catch there for Nina. It's, it's now Maloney breathing through on the Boris goal. Drops it in. It's dropped over the bar. And now they're just back to two points once again. Well, this game isn't over at all at all. Yes, we don't know how much time that referee is going to. He's looking at the whistle. Boris very anxious to find out how much time is to go as Jody Harkin prepares to puck out. The referee, you see, about to blow up. He has the reason. It, he has the whistle in his mouth. Bob Ostaker puts up his hand for this one. The ball breaks off his stick there. Players doesn't put it everywhere. Very close to that touchline over there is Anthony Quinn. Anthony Quinn gets a good clearance on it there now. The referee blows up for full time as Patrick Stevenson lets fly one handed. Nina players drop to the ground in disappointment for Boris and Lee. For Boris and Lee, it's absolute elation. After last year's heartbreak and disappointed. Disappointment. They have regained the Frank McGrath Cup after a lapse of 17 years. The final score here as uh, McDonough Park Nina was Boris Ali, one goal and 12 points. Errol Nina, 13 points. In the county championship. Um, just uh, to celebrate the Frank McGrath Cup. And now the moment that Boris Ali have been waiting for for the last 17 years has finally come as Philip Rubis raises aloft the Frank McGrath Cup to the jubilation of his teammates, his mentors and all the jubilant supporters. I'm sure it'll be a wild night around Boris Ali for tonight and maybe for the next week.
Hey, cheers for Boris. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. And now I have with me here a very jubilant Boris Lee chairman here. Uh, a great night for the club. I thought it was a great night for the club, sure. We are waiting 17 years for this and we were beaten in the last four in our final, so it was a sweet victory. It certainly wasn't, an e it wasn't, it wasn't easily achieved. Oh, it wasn't easy. We never, it was, you never beat me in a two-handy and we came over here, you know, we were under pressure coming over, minus our, our county players, but the people who took their place, they're credit, they're credit to the club. Each and every one of them give an exhibition to all. They give, they give, their, they, they give their heart to it. Well, congratulations to you once again, and thank, thank you very much right, indeed. Right. <laughs> And now I have with me here the victorious captain of the Boris Lee team, Philip Herbeet. Philip, a very relieved man, I'm sure, this evening. You can say that again, Paddy. I'll tell you one thing, that second half was the longest half of an hour's hurl than I ever did in my life. I thought the half was never going to end, but sure, we knew Nina pushed us right to the end, and they did, you know, that was what, just what we expected, really, you know. You went in at halftime, six points up. You know, they had a lot of possession, and had a lot of wides. Were you happy at, uh, at having six points at halftime? Uh, sure, any time you're six points up at halftime, you have to be happy, like, but... We knew they were after missing uh, several scores, like you know, so we knew it was just still a 50-50 game, like you know, and you know they just needed to pick off a few of those scores, and you know they were right back in it, and which they did in the second half, you know, and so we we were under pressure for a lot of it, like but sure, at least we got every time they came came within two, we seemed to just to get one to, to keep it at three points, you know, and we were happy enough for that. It takes a lot of pressure off this Boris team now, especially after the disappointment of last year. Yeah, that's for sure. Well, last year and other years, you know, um, often we came over here as favourites. And we went home disappointed, you know. But this year we came over kind of as underdogs with our, a lot of our injuries, and we took it home. So it's just funny the way it goes. Sometimes you're expected to win and you don't, and then when you're not expected to win, you pull it out of fire. Like, but sure, you can see what it means to everybody here. It's 17 long years since the North Cup was in Boris Lee. It's too long, you know what I mean? And personally, like, that was my fifth in our final. I'd lost four, so, you know, losing five was just unthinkable, you know. So thankfully we just pulled it off. And you'll be hoping maybe for greater things uh, further on in the season. You, you're not going to rest on your laurels here now, I would say. No, that's for sure. Like we kind of took it, we were taking it in two different stages. We just were concentrating on winning the north, and now we're going to turn our attentions to the Dembrian. You know, it's, it's, it's as long since that was in Boris as well. And that's well overdue too. And we'll go out and we'll give it a lash. At least this takes a lot of pressure off us. You know what I mean? When you have something hanging over your head for 17 years, it's very, very hard. It's often easy to get within a yard of the finish line, but it's very, very hard to get over the finish line. And, just thankfully we got over today just about and we'll take it from here then. Well, Philip, I'll let you go and enjoy yourself. Friend Congratulations Thanks, once buddy. again and thank you very much Thanks indeed. Very much. Thanks, buddy. Thank yeah. thank you. And so that concludes our coverage here of the North Tipperary Senior Hurling Championship final from, from McDonough Park in Nina. Boris Lee have won the trophy, the Frank McGrath Cup, back after a lapse of 17 years. Woo! It's been a long time coming and they'll certainly enjoy it tonight and I'm sure for the week to come. So the final score from Nina here is Bursley, one goal and 12 points. Aero Nina, 13 points. And we say bye-bye from, as I said already, a sun-drenched Nina.